Hey, Miguel Alderati back on the CRP, and uh, we've had a light boxing calendar uh, in recent weeks, and all of a sudden, boom, we got a ton of boxing yeah. this weekend, and that means I'm back with my man, ASP, Anthony Scott Pyatt. Anthony, how you doing? Man, it's good to be back with you. It's real, been really slow in boxing lately, but we've got uh, three wage rages we're going to record here, so look for all of those on Facebook and YouTube and do all that good stuff, everybody. Appreciate you hanging here with us we got some good bets for you this weekend. Okay, we're going to take a look at fights that are going to go down here uh, later today, Friday, July 12th. And we've got uh, Jeddah, Saudi Arabia hosting a pair of fights that uh, we're going to take a look at. Billy Dib taking on Amir Khan is a welterweight bout. Dib 45-5, and five, Amir Khan 33-5. and five. Khan obviously trying to bounce back after the Terrence Crawford loss. He's made no... Uh, attempt to hide the fact that he took this fight for the money it's in Jeddah, saudi arabia a unique location and he's getting well paid for it or else he may have taken the fight that you know may, may not be back yet but he is returning after the crawford fight and you expect him to try you know to bounce back there billy did a veteran he's 45 and 5 all five of his losses come in world title fights so he's just been on the cusp his whole career now it's a bounce back. He's 40 years old, and he's up at least two weight classes from where he operated at his uh, at his optimal. We see Khan, a huge favorite, and uh, he comes in at minus 3750. Billy Dib plus 1500. I mean, Dib, uh, you know, plus 1500 may be disrespectful. I'll leave that up to you to see. Uh, the over under five and a half with the over at minus 140, and the under at plus uh, the over at plus 100 rather, and the under at minus 140. So I'll leave it to you, ASP, to give us the skinny and, and your thoughts. How's this one looking? Yeah, uh, I'll touch on a point that you brought up. Billy Dibb's been fighting at featherweight most of his career, 126. Um, and there's a big difference between 126 and 147. Um, his past two fights, he moved up from featherweight 126 to super featherweight, which is only 130. So it's a four-pound difference. Now he's moving up an additional 17 pounds to go to welterweight. Um, if you look at Amir Khan, his losses are to guys like Terrence Crawford, Canelo Alvarez, Danny Garcia, and Lamont Peterson. But I will point out that Khan was deducted a point uh, for pushing in the, in the seventh round and another uh, in the 12th for pushing again. If he's not deducted those two points, Khan wins that fight against – Additionally Peterson, Peterson, additionally, Peterson tested for positive for steroids shortly after that fight, so there's always that open question. That's right. So basically the point of all that is, Miguel, is that Khan, he really loses the power in size over his career. That's, that's, that's the type of fighters. Terrence Crawford, Canelo Alvarez, these are big boys, you know. Uh, Dib's moving up, and he's not a KO artist. Dib's record is 45-5-2 with 26 knockouts. So just over 50%. I mean, he's not, he's not a monster at 126. He's definitely not a monster at 147. So I believe Amir Khan will be in his element with this fight. Uh, I'll call Khan uh knockout in six, which brings us to the over under right now. The over is at five and a half. I'm calling it in six. So you might say, take it. It is a positive plus 100. But I would try and find um, try and find a little more than plus one hundred on that before I'd bet it. Plus one twenty five, plus one fifty. I like the over at that point. I'm not sure I'd bet on it as is though. But I think Tom wins it in six. Okay, and uh, that's a logical choice. I mean, you know, in terms of going from featherweight to welterweight, we've got the example of Manny Pacquiao, who's a superstar in the boxing world. But with all due respect to Billy Dib. Billy Dibbs, no Manny Pacquiao. <laughs> the other card that we uh, have here from Jeddah is uh, another fighter on the comeback trail, so to speak, and that's Huey Fury, the heavyweight cousin of uh, Tyson Fury, and he bounces back against veteran Samuel Peter. Fury, 22-2. and two. He's coming off uh, a situation where I believe he's 2-2 two and two in his last four fights, so he's starting to take some losses. Uh, one of them was to Joseph Parker, the other to Kubra Pulev. So perhaps the jump in uh, talent against the opposition uh, affected him a little bit. Nevertheless, Huey Fury's still very young and uh, from the Fury family, so he's definitely going to get attention. Here he faces veteran Samuel Peter. Peter, well past his prime, 38-7, 31 KOs. He still has that big punch, but Fury, 
a style artist, a huge favorite at minus 7,000. Peter Payne back plus 2,800. Maybe a puncher's chance. Over under six and a half with the over at plus 135 and the under at minus 175. So Peter expected to uh, perhaps uh, give uh, 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 Fury some rounds here. How do you see this one? Yeah, and I think that's where I'm coming in on it. I mean, you do have a 69% KO rate for, for Samuel Peter, but he's also been knocked out four times. And I think Huey's smart enough to probably avoid some of that. Uh, on the other hand, uh, Samuel Peter lost to Kubert Polev. Uh, I mean, uh, and, and he got retired in the third round, whereas Huey, uh, unanimous decision. So actually that kind of backs up Huey again. Uh and Peter's lost some, to some great people, but and that gives him experience. But he has lost to Vladimir twice, Vitaly Klitschko once. And in recent fights, he's lost to Hellenius, Heredia, and Chambers, I believe. Um, not as big a names, obviously, as the Klitschkos. So, um, you know, at plus 2,800, it looks appealing. But I'm not, I'm not going to suggest betting it. I do think uh, Fury... Uh, KO and eight. I wouldn't be blown away if Peter won it, but uh, even at that plus 2,800, I'm going to suggest, if anything, take the over six and a half. It's at plus 135 right now. Uh, and I do think they're going to sort of have a feel each other out for the first round or two and then get things going. And I don't think uh, Huey Fury is going to be too quick to want to get in there with a puncher like Samuel Peter. So I think there'll be some strategy and some big boys not throwing a lot of punches for a while. If it goes like that, uh, the over six and a half is a, is a fairly decent bet at plus 135. Terrific. And th that's basically what uh, what we've got on the card here in Jeddah. This is going to air and stream for free. Uh, it's airing on Channel 5 in the United Kingdom, so it should be something that people can see. Uh, and it'll be out there. Uh, uh, the rest of the card, uh, like we did, we went over the, the two uh, main cards. The rest of the card looks to have some local talent uh, coming up, a few four-round bouts on the undercard, and a couple other 12-rounders of interest with local talent. So basically, uh, you've got about a 10-fight card there, but uh, the Khan and the Huey Fury fights are really the only international-level fights there. So, ASP, we got... Uh, basically going in with the favorites in this one, it's, uh, too much for the underdogs to overcome and maybe some action on the over-unders. That's what we're looking at here. We like the overs on this one. That's right. Terrific. I'm Miguel Dorati. That's Anthony Scott Pyatt. We've been reviewing the odds and making picks for Amir Khan versus, uh, Billy Dibb this Friday, July 12th in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. Also picking the Huey Fury fight against Samuel Peter from that card. And uh, we'll see you guys after the fights.